Ukraine to Europe. Prepare for your own war with Russia. Russia is ready to swallow Europe whole, a top Ukrainian commander has warned less than two months after he led a costly evacuation from a key city on the eastern front line. Speaking to the Independent from an undisclosed location in Donetsk, Deputy Commander of Ukraine's 3rd Assault Brigade, Maxim Zorin, issued a troubling warning to Kyiv's Western partners. The West, he said, must urgently prepare, create serious defense systems that could counteract Russia because it will undoubtedly open its mouth and try to swallow the rest of Europe, he warned. The Independent says that it is the latest in a string of warnings from Ukrainian military and political figures that Russia will not stop with Ukraine. But it comes less than two months after Zorin helped lead a difficult evacuation from Avdiivka, the first Ukrainian city to be taken over by Russia since last May, in part because a recent lack of Western military support had left Ukrainian forces there at a significant disadvantage. Zorin, more than most, knows the cost of an advancing Russia. During his interview, the first with Western media since the fall of the city, Mr. Zorin was blunt about the reality of the Eastern front line while Western weapon supplies are delayed or simply being withheld and he was frank about the future of European security. A US military package worth roughly $60 billion has been in limbo in Washington for seven months, victim to squabbling politicians. While European partners have failed to send more than half of the million artillery shells they promised to Kyiv by this year, unable to agree on how to finance their production. Zorin claims his unit has killed up to 15,000 Russians in the past few months alone, but the threat of another push by Putin's forces is now real. And then it's Europe next. Use this time wisely, the deputy commander says addressing Kyiv's Western partners directly. In Rostov region of the Russian Federation, a pipeline used to pump petroleum products from a local oil depot to tankers in the area of the Azov seaport was blown up, the Defense Intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine reported on the night of April 6, 2024, in the area of the village of Azov as a result of the explosion of a pipeline that pumped petroleum products from a local oil depot to tankers in the area of the Azov seaport, the loading of tankers with petroleum products was Suspended for an indefinite period, the report says, the object was used by the aggressor state for military purposes, to support the waging of a genocidal war against Ukraine, the department noted. Loading of tankers with petroleum products is suspended for an indefinite period Ukraine has been attacking Russian oil refineries for months. Defense Intelligence Chairman Vasily Malyuk noted that due to Ukrainian drones hitting Russian refineries, oil production and refining in the Russian Federation was reduced by 12%. The Institute for the Study of War noted that the recent attack by Ukrainian drones on an oil refinery in the Republic of Tatarstan indicates a turning point in Ukraine's strategy of striking targets deep behind Russian lines. British intelligence is convinced that Russia is unlikely to be able to protect all its oil refineries from attacks by Ukrainian drones. These impacts cause financial losses for Russia and affect the domestic fuel market. Ukrainian drones attacked the Morozovsk military airfield in Russia's Rostov Oblast on the night of 4-5 April. Vasily Galyubev, the governor of Rostov Oblast said this. Witnesses reported numerous drones and counted more than 60 explosions. Several districts have been cut off from the power grid after it, according to Telegram channels Russian six aircraft destroyed, eight damaged after Ukrainian drone attack. The attack on the Morozovsk airfield was carried out by the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence together with the military and defense forces frontline bombers Su-24, Su-24M, Su-34 were based at the airfield, these are the types of aircraft Russia uses to drop KABs on the positions of the Ukrainian armed forces in frontline Ukrainian cities. Dolyubev confirmed a large-scale attack in the Morozovsk district. He said that the Russian air defense units were repelling the attack. Morozovsk is a military airfield in Russia's Rostov Oblast, located 3 kilometers southwest of the city of Morozovsk. The airfield is a base of the 559th Guards Bomber Regiment of the 1st Guards Mixed Aviation Division of the Russian Air Force. Frontline bombers Su-24, Su-24M or Su-34 are stationed at the airfield. In December, drones attempted to attack the military airfield in Morozovsk, where frontline aircraft were stationed.